Hey everybody, it's Nate from Explorers.life. I teach people how to build DIY campers, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to wire solar panels in a series parallel configuration. Now this video is episode number nine in a series of videos where I'm teaching you all the basic electrical skills you'll need to tackle the next electrical project in your camper. Now we've already talked about how to make MC4 connectors, how to check voltages using a multimeter, how to wire solar panels in series, and how to wire solar panels in parallel in previous videos, which are concepts that are very important to understand before watching this video. So if you haven't already seen those, you should probably check those out, and I'll leave links to those in the video description below. Let's get started. Wiring solar panels in series parallel is just a matter of connecting the positive and negative wires for neighboring solar panels together, creating individual series wired solar panel strings. And then wiring those series wired strings in parallel by connecting the positive and negative of each series string to an MC4 combiner to the wires that will go to the charge controller. Now for the example of today's video, I'm going to be wiring up four 100 watt rich solar panels in series parallel. I've got them right over here. I've already used my multimeter to determine which wires are positive and which wires are negative and noted that with a bit of red heat shrink on the positive wires and covered the panels with cardboard so I'm not working with live voltage. Now first I want to wire the outside pairs together in series. That means wiring the positive to the negative on these two panels and wiring the positive to the negative on these two panels. Now I have two pairs of panels wired in series. Next, I need to wire these two series wired strings in parallel. And to do that, I'm going to take all the positives from each series wired string of solar panels and attach them to a two to one MC4 combiner. Then I'm going to take all of the negatives from each series wired string of solar panels and attach them to another MC4 combiner. Then I can attach each positive and negative MC4 combiner to the wires that will go through the roof and connect to the charge controller. Now if the array needed to have fuses, I would attach the MC4 fuses to the positive MC4 connector between the combiner and the panel wires. Now some arrays need fuses, some don't. Uh, you can rely on my free wiring diagrams to show you when to use them or not. Uh, but we'll be covering the why in a future video, so consider subscribing. Now if you have more than four panels, the theory is completely the same. If we had six solar panels, uh, they could be wired in a three panels in series with the two series strings in parallel, or they could be wired two panels in series with the three series strings wired in parallel. More panels, same concept. If you had 16 panels, you could do a series strings of four panels with the four series strings wired in parallel. Now, something to note, all series strings really need to be identical. So, five solar panels cannot be wired in series parallel because it's not recommended to have an array with a series string of two panels wired in parallel with a series string of three solar panels. Now, why would we want to wire our solar panels in series parallel? Series parallel allows us to keep the voltage from our solar panel array high enough for the MPPT charge controller to effectively do its job, but low enough to stay under the max voltage rating of the charge controller. It also allows us to keep the solar panel array amps low enough so that we can effectively use smaller wire throughout the entire array without worrying about excessive voltage drop. But we're going to talk about that in much more detail in next week's video. Now, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, it'd be awesome if you'd share it with somebody or a group who you think could benefit from it. Leave this video a thumbs up, drop any questions you've got in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper building tutorials, and I will see you in the next video.